Hey guys, welcome to Draw with Sandy at the Little Artistic Nook. Today we'll be drawing this cute little unicorn. Okay, so to make sure you have room for your unicorn's body, you'll start by drawing an oval near the left top of your page. Then go ahead and draw in a nice curve across the center and a small heart underneath, and then you can shade in around these two spots to create your unicorn's eye. Then you can go ahead and just trace across the top of the eye and extend out two little curves towards the right for some eyelashes. Then to draw in our unicorn's muzzle, I'm going to come just to the left of the eye and starting at about halfway down, I'm going to create just a small curve that's coming towards the left side of my page. So almost like a little hook. And then you're going to start to curve around so that you come back towards the eye, but underneath creating the bottom of your unicorn's nose. As you approach the right edge of your eye, you can bring the line back up and curve it out so we have something like a bell shape. Then create a curve across the bottom for the muzzle and draw in a little dot or line for a nose. Now we're gonna go ahead and draw the little patch of hair that's falling over her forehead. And to do this, I'm gonna start by drawing a curve that's coming just over the top of the eye. So we're sort of creating a mirrored curve. Then to close it off at the muzzle, you can just bring it down as far as it needs to go and create a point if you like, or whatever you choose for your hairstyle is fine, but I'm creating sort of a leaf shape. At the top of the hair, you're going to bring a curve that's coming up towards the top of your page and slightly towards the left, and then create a little triangle shape there for the inside of her ear. Then at the top of that triangle, you can start to bring down almost a backward C shape towards the top of her head. And then just in front of this first ear, we can make just the little hint of the ear behind by just creating um, a parallel line shape. And then we'll go ahead and we'll draw in her horn, which is going to be pointing up towards the left. So I'm going to have it come right off the top of her little tuft of hair here. And it's basically like a long, thin triangle. If you're using a pencil, I will suggest maybe just drawing down a neckline from the bottom of this ear. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and we'll draw in her mane. So to do this, I'm going to start at the bottom of this front ear, and I'm going to create just a series of those sort of leaf shapes. So they'll be nice and rounded as they come down the body. And I'm gonna create a little, sort of like a little point at the bottom. So here's my first one and then as I do the next sections of her mane, I'm going to start a little bit lower as if I have a neckline underneath this hair. So you'll see that they're just kind of layered underneath each other and it's like we're working our way down towards the bottom right corner. I'm just going to do three because they are pretty big and if you haven't already brought up the bottom of her muzzle closer to her mane, you can do that. And then we're going to come underneath that line, it's almost a little bit past the right side of the eye, to create the front leg. So just draw down a straight line, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight, but we're coming towards the bottom of the page. And then what I'm going to do is just create a little rounded foot so it's like I've made a little hook and we'll come back up towards the body when you've got about halfway up your first line you'll just start to bring your line slightly angled towards the inside of her body and then let's go ahead and finish off her back so here I'm just going to imagine that neckline and then from just behind the mane I'm going to start to draw a really shallow curve towards the right side of the paper for her back and then to draw her, her backside there, I'm gonna just curve my line and begin to bring it downwards. To sort of separate the back from her leg, I'm just gonna bring a small curve in and then I'm going to straighten the line coming down towards the bottom of the page 
and again try to match it up with your front foot there and you can create that small little curve across the bottom for her foot and then this time as you come up the length of the leg so that straight part that you just drew when you're about halfway you'll start to curve your line in once again towards the center of the body then to finish off her belly i'm just going to draw a curved line that's connecting the back of this front leg with the front of her back leg I'm just going straight across almost mirroring that curve across the top of her back now of course we need to add in her other legs so i'm going to do the back leg here just coming from underneath the belly drawing a line down and having the bottom of the foot match up and then just bring the leg back up and then we'll go into the front and i'm going to have her front leg sort of bending and lifted so we'll draw an angled line down towards that bottom left corner and when you're about underneath the muzzle you can start to curve it back towards her front leg then round off the bottom of her foot and come back up towards where her knee is and then as you curve you can make the leg appear just a little bit wider. And I'm also going to give her a nice long tail so coming off the top of her back I'm just going to draw a nice big sort of S curve down towards the bottom of the paper and then I'm going to start back at the top and come back all the way down and meet at a point and then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort of layer this by drawing that same curve in behind the one I just drew and I think I'm going to do probably just two but if you want to make your tail fuller you can add more lines Then go ahead and draw a little curve across the bottom of her legs to indicate her little hooves all right, and to finish off our picture, I'm just going to draw a little ground line in and some other details. So let's start by drawing in the grass, which is just a wavy line that goes across the page and is a little bit higher than her feet. Then I'm going to add some tulips just out in front of her. So to do that, from the ground, I'm just gonna draw a curved line. And then on the top of this, I'll draw a nice U shape and working across from one side to the other, I'm just going to do some V's and then we'll add in some little lines coming out and you can add some little dots on the top. Keep it nice and loose so it's nice and whimsical. And then for my leaves, I just do a basic um, teardrop or almond shape. So there's a little point on both ends and the center sort of curves out. Make a second tulip here. Once again, making my stem and then a big U for the top and add in the little stamen and once again if you have room or you feel like doing so you can add in some leaves feel free to make as many flowers as you want and for a last little touch of whimsical magic i'm just going to draw some stars so start with a little inverted v then make another one coming out the side and two across the bottom so where your two v's meet across the bottom is sort of the center point of your top v and I think I'll do another one sort of towards the right side of the paper. And then I think just to finish it off, I'll just add some little sparkly dabs around my stars and then maybe around the top of her horn. Of course, if you wanted to add some lines or stripes to your horn, you can go ahead and do that. And otherwise, guys, that is our sweet little unicorn. So thank you so much for drawing with me today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please share it. Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And until next time for another Draw with Sandy, keep making art and keep smiling.